How we doing everybody? It's my Tabor City home. We're here uh, back working on the Ford 555. Um, <clears throat> it's been a few days since I've been able to do anything. I've been sick. Had the flu. So, but it did give me one of them really kind of like in a world where one man must fix a backhoe kind of voice thing. So, <clears throat> um, back at it today. Glad to be back out here in the sunshine, to be honest with you. Not very good patient. Um, so, I think the last time uh, we were doing anything, we were actually looking inside the uh, transmission, trying to figure out if we had a uh, hole that runs to the pump blocked. So, I'm going to kind of update you a little bit on what we've done. Uh, removed uh, most of the interior structure here inside the engine compartment. Uh, removed all the hydraulic lines that run to the steering and uh they run back up here to the front of the pump um removes the two large hydraulic lines that drive that are down the passenger side if you want to call it that of the backhoe um thing is if you try to disconnect them up here you're never going to get a wrench in here so disconnecting it at the pump is what's rec or the filter is what's recommended and then back here up here under the backhoe uh, went ahead and got some wood blocks in it shims for the front end very important if you don't shim uh, the front end before you try to uh, try to pull it apart uh, if it falls over to one side or the other uh, from what I've been told you are gonna eat your Wheaties that thing is gonna tear you up you are gonna have a hell of a time getting it back together uh, you're gonna have a hell of a time getting it upright and then uh, and then even more problems trying to get it back together um, got up under here talking to the guy at the New Holland place. These are six ton jack stands. Uh, so we put one on each frame arm on each side because ultimately we're going to remove these bolts uh, that hold the front end and the back end together. Actually, an interesting thing is the guy told me, he said, make sure when you bolt this back together, you just bolt it back, you know, hand tight. He said this, this part of this frame is actually supposed to have movement in it. And he actually uh, worked on a fellow's backhoe who he had welded that together and caused him a lot of problems in the drivetrain because there was no flexibility in the uh, frame itself. So he uh, basically said jack stand uh, the frame the six uh six ton jack stand should be fine there and then we got up under here and went ahead and used some four by fours up under a bottle jack with a two by four uh on the transmission it's still to the point where back here you can get to the nuts and with the wrenches that you need to and then uh you'll be able to get to those nuts as well or those bolt nuts whatever um to be able to undo those we are pretty close now the one thing that uh you know he did say that is not quite jiving for me i don't know you know maybe a different series 555 might be a little bit easier but he was recommending that you take your handy dandy paint pen and I know it looks like it snowed in here. I, I put this tarp over this backhoe because we've got some uh, severe weather rolling. Actually, we had a tornado in the, in the uh, county just below mine, the county where I work. And uh, so I put this tarp on there, and I had painted some stuff on the, on the tarp, uh, and the paint all flaked off and got all over this. I'm actually really uh, seriously considering once I get this separated, going down to Harbor Freight and buying uh, their sand blaster with a soda blaster conversion and that way I'll have both the sand and the soda blaster and uh, just blasting you know this motor and, and probably this transmission casing housing and and uh, repainting the whole thing looks like mud but anyways so one of the things he said to do was to come in here at the crank or excuse me not the crank flywheel flywheel and to mark with a paint pen the flywheel and then subsequently mark the torque converter uh, according to him the torque converters are balanced but there's no way here to really get good access to the torque converter so and one of the things that uh, 
he did say was that you need to take you need to unbolt the torque converter now the torque converter bolts to what's called a flex wheel i believe it's called and if you i think i went over this in the diagnosing of the transmission issue but if you start your motor and you get up here and you go up under the back of and you get to this inspection port and you look up under here and you don't see that torque converter moving then there's a good chance that that flex wheel is broken and that's what the issue is um, but if the torque converter is moving the flex wheel is intact so um, part of the reasoning be behind unbolting the torque converter before you separate the tractor was he said there's a stem in there that goes to the pump and that during the separation of this tractor if anything becomes uneven or unlevel or, or you know there's a shock load placed you could actually break the stem of that pump off um, so to him he said just unbolt the torque converter that way when you're separating them if anything happens it's kind of a safety that you won't break the stem um, and other than that I think uh, I think I told you guys in the first video that initially the guy who I bought this from said that this the valve body was bad and uh, I don't know if you can tell it um, but I had gone through here and taken this valve body off um, and you take off these four bolts and then you take this top plate off here with these two screws and there there are these like plungers with springs in there and the plungers appear to be good i replaced the springs with brand new springs but under this there's these two little pins um and the pins are what open and closes channels for the fluid to run through and even my local new holland place said they could not get those pins i had to order those pins off the internet uh i want to say they were like 18 dollars a pin hey it was it was a uh, was fairly substantial price for two teeny tiny little pieces of metal um, hey but you know you gotta do what you gotta do one thing I am finding out is when you're dealing with heavy equipment everything costs more so you know I guess that it's the nature of the beast but uh, I think we're to the point we've got shimmed wheels we got things supported uh this afternoon i'm going to try to get those bolts out of that torque converter there's eight of them if the uh, service manual is correct and uh then i try to get this thing separated i don't know if i'm gonna get separated this afternoon from what i've seen probably the best model to do that is put a rolling floor jack up under the the engine uh with a piece of wood put it up under the oil pan and then to get everything unbolted and then to put a guy on each front tire and start pushing on the front tires to try to kind of shimmy them apart and, and get it rolled away a little bit. Um, so uh, take that goofy 20 year old son of mine when he's here tomorrow morning, hopefully, and put him to work um, and see if we can get this thing separated. It'd be nice to have it separated. Like I said, there is some there is some other work beyond just messing with transmission I want to get done. I'm really seriously consider soda blasting this motor, um, or the engine rather, and uh, repainting it, and getting in there and doing some other things. I also know that I need to rewire a bunch of this backhoe. Um, ultimately, my ultimate goal is to eventually sell it uh, once I get done cleaning out the woods behind my house. Um, but I really have fallen in love with it. Again, I, you know, somebody made a comment to me the other day that, why would I love it so much? It's ugly. Hey, I don't know. You know, it's, uh, it's beautiful in my eyes. And, uh, boy, it digs like a crazy man. So, it, uh, it just needs a little help in the transmission. I mean, give it some love. You know, this thing's 1981. I'm older than it is, you know, and, and I need love too. So, whatever. Um, uh, anyways. Uh, I think that's about it. So, for my Tabor City home, that's where we are with this deal. Hopefully tomorrow we'll be posting a video with us separating the tractor. We're back. Or are both? Who knows? Maybe that's the way it'll be. Can never tell. Anyways, y'all have a good day.